हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ ग्रेट प्लेजर दैट केंद्रीय विद्यालय संगठन रीजनल ऑफिस दिल्ली रिवाइज आईसीटी करिकुलम आईसीटी स्टैंड्स फॉर इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी सो दिस करिकुलम हैज बीन रिवाइज टू सूट द नीड ऑफ फ्यूचर सिलेबस ऑफ ऑल द क्लासेस फ्रॉम 3 टू 8 has been have been revised and presented in new form kbsro daily published books as well as created a youtube channel so that our students can learn anywhere anytime with the help of technology in this series today i am going to present contents for class 7 so first of all i will tell you about tell you about the curriculum what we are going to cover in class 7 then what is the split up for the year after that we will go through the content of this book so here we go this is a message from our commis deputy commissioner and then you will see this is the content which we are going to cover in class 7 so first of all code decode this is a mental exercise base chapter so in this chapter we will learn how to code something and how to decode it after that we will learn about a programming language in which we can perform coding operations or we can develop something or we can make program to ease our routine activities python programming and then introduction of jim jim is a animation tool you can call it or you can say image based tool so you will learn about the jim as well as application of internet nowadays internet is booming and everybody is on internet all the time for various purposes so how to use or utilize internet we will learn into this chapter and then the computer security as the scope of internet or the online scenario has been raised there is a need of, of knowing the concern of the persons who are working 24 into 7 on the internet online so how to keep ourselves secure when we are open to the world in this chapter we will learn about at last there is a answers of the exercises given at the end of chapters so now we will move to the first chapter that is code decode you can say this is the division before going to the first chapter i will show you the april to june what we will going to cover we are going to cover and then in july to september september what we are going to cover in the same way october to december as well as january to march so in april we will do the coding decoding mental exercise as well as what is the concept of coding algorithm flow chart etc etc so this all you will learn in python so first we are talking about april to june syllabus then later we will discuss about other part of the syllabus okay so first chapter here we go i'm just zooming it so that you can easily read it out you can see i think it's uh, visible now so you can see coding decoding practice exercise 1 and then puzzle test and at the end of this chapter my dear students you can solve certain kind of uh, logical questions or you can do certain critical and analytical thinking you will be able to 
solve some tricky questions uh, which you can say uh, you can say uh, it's a kind of mental exercises which we are going to do in this chapter i hope you will like it so first of all i am telling you about the coding what is it coding is a method of conveying a message in secret way okay in computer you know whatever we do we for that we have to write certain kind of code but in this chapter we are talking about something different we are talking about how to uh, if something is given to us and it is in uh, it is in the form which is not easily understandable or you can say encrypted form encryption means uh, to convert our message into certain uh, method by certain method so that only the intended person can understand that not everyone can understand that message so those person who are knowing the method of decoding that particular code will know how to decode this message have you ever heard about this uh, secret agents secret agents basically do what they pass on the information in a secret way and that secret way is the other person who are received at the receiving end can decode this information and get the actual information what is behind the scene so decoding is the process to break the code and to understand the conveyed message here in this uh, diagram or the conversation you can easily understand what does it mean i'm just zooming it out so that you can easily view it this boy is asking hey do you know meaning of the encoded word tvo do you understand what is tvo no doesn't it doesn't make any sense for this guy it doesn't make any sense but exactly tvo tvo must have some meaning so actually it is a coded form of a word to understand its meaning we have to decode it but this person is this boy is not knowing how to decode it so she is telling in this code each letter is one place ahead from its original place like t the uh, the letter before t is s the letter before v is u and the letter before n a o is n so actual meaning of t v o is sun so here you can understand how the sun is represented with the word t v o so because it's a decoding method and coding and decoding method these two persons as used to understand the language of each other okay so uh, in this in this chapter we will do certain exercise like the first example i have given here in certain code goal is coded as hpbn in the same way where is coded as now four option has been given svfc fsvc cfvs and vfsc now we have to choose any appropriate option which is most suitable for where how will it how will we do it analyze the word goal and then hpbm now if we go through this you can see here uh, g h o p a b l m means the word hpbm is derived by using the next letter of each word each next letter from the previous letter from this letter okay so g and h o p a b l m in the similar way we can do it b c e f a b r s is it clear so option 
C is the most appropriate option. Is it? I think you understood well. Now the next thing is, next option is section, uh, example two, in certain code language, easy is written as 5117. In the same code language, how will you write beam? So remember this table. It said, and uh, there is a shortcut of remembering this table. Uh, you have to, A stands for 1, B, 2. You know, there are 26 letters in this uh, series. So, A is known as 1, B, 2, C, 3, D, 4. And the same way, every letter has its numeral representation. Okay. So, E, easy is the, in easy, there is E is the fifth letter. A is the first letter. S is the 19th, 19th letter. You can see here, the position of S, 19th. So, it became... 9 plus 1 that is 10 10 plus 1 is 1 okay why is the 25th alphabet so 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 so here the series is representing to 5 1 1 7 the e 5 a 1 s is also representing to 1 and y is representing to same thing we can do with beam. So, whenever we get two digit letters, uh, two digit uh, number, then we have to add each digit and obtain a single digit number. Okay. So, B is the second alphabet in the series. E is the fifth. A is the first. But M is the thirteenth alphabet. Means it is a two digit number. So, we have to add it. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So, in this case, B means 2, E means 5, A means 1, and M means 4. So, this is the right answer. Interesting? I think you are finding it interesting. So, do it yourself. Exercise is self-explanatory. So many examples has been given. I think I will leave it to you. And I, I hope you will complete this exercise very soon with a lot of enthusiasm. If you need any kind of help, you can text me. Thank you so much.